out on this um, this chassis. Uh, this is a chassis that I put together oh last March or so, and I was at that point I was kind of not liking buying ready to run trucks, so I uh, ordered everything in, every little part, every little piece in from a company called AliExpress. It took me probably almost two months because parts were trickling in little by little but i'm glad i did it because um you know versus buying a ready to run i built this this one here well i want to say it's uh about the same price as the ready to run axial but i'm talking overall tires uh everything so i just put a new motor in it's got an apex 45 turn and uh, you guys have heard me say it before but I'll say it again these apex little motors have turned out to be really great I'm having real good luck with them but yeah this uh, this chassis you know if you take your let's say 400 bucks and instead of buying a ready to run you can order everything in and build it yourself you can build a custom chassis for 400 bucks uh, this has got carbon fiber, uh, metal gears, and aluminum casing on the transmission. I've got a Hobby Wing 1060, uh, aluminum receiver box, Desert Lizard shocks. They're set up for a droop. Um, look at underneath, guys. All aluminum uh, skid plate and links, drive shafts. This... Well, that's one of the things I probably want to do down the road is replace this drive shaft. Um, I want an MIP because I've had really good luck with MIPs, but they've really jumped up in price. Last time I checked, it was about 70 bucks, And when I last bought my last one was, uh, I want to say, about 50 So they've really made a pretty big jump. But it's got aluminum axles. And then the wheels are the knockoff clones. But they, they're the Super Swamper ones, but they really got good grip. And this is a metal uh, wheel, not a plastic one. So, you know, I mean, I've even got metal posts, aluminum posts. Uh, even the battery tray is a metal tray. So, yeah, you can. Uh, and then this is my standard um, uh, servo that I go to all the time. Uh, this LED light too, you can get these little LED lights for like $15 on Amazon. I don't really need a big light bar and I don't do any uh, wenching on my trucks because I don't really get into the competition crawling. So I, not, I, don't, I don't get into competition crawling. So yeah, even the aluminum bumper, the only one I got to get is the rear one. I still need to get a rear aluminum bumper for there. But yeah, I mean for the price of a... Uh, you buy a ready-to-run Axial, you can buy a totally custom, beautiful SCX-10 chassis for the same price. So, you know, whatever. Everybody has their different preferences, but um, I'm totally stoked. This is the way I do all my builds now. I just buy the bare-bones chassis and start from there. It's more fun, and you get a better quality vehicle. Anyway, take care, guys. I did want to just show you this... Uh, this chassis, because, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great chassis. Take care, fellas.